Hey everybody, welcome to part two of the graph editor tutorial for Adobe After Effects CS6. This is Buddy Blackford here, and in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be learning about the keyframes and the different types and how they affect the graph editor and how to manipulate the points in the graph editor. So what we have here right now is just a linear rotation which means the speed doesn't change and it just goes from 0 to 360 at the uh, same velocity. So I'll show you what that is, what that looks like real quick so we have something to compare the other things to. And you can see how it slides at the end and you can fix that in the graph editor. So um, the first thing I wanted to do was change the end keyframe to an easy ease keyframe so you can see what it looks like. So I click on that and then you can see a, a handle comes out at uh, both the points here. And we'll do a ramp review so you can see what it looks like. There's no more sliding for one you can adjust these handles here by clicking on them when the cursor turns to a black arrow and dragging. So when you have it up here, the the uh, graph editor, or the, uh, the, the uh, rotation, sorry, the rotation will start off faster and then end slower with the easy ease on there. If I move it down here like this, now it's going to be slower here than it was before and then faster at the end. So watch this. You see how it got really fast at the very end and flipped basically unrealistically. So that's that. If you want to reset back to a linear real quick, you can hold Alt and click on it. Or you can go ahead and just click on the linear button while the point is selected. If you want to bring a point back to a point that has a handle on it, a Bezier handle, hold Alt and click on the point and it'll bring a, a handle out that you can manipulate if it doesn't already have one. So Now I'm going to add a keyframe in the middle somewhere. Right there sounds good right at the top. And I'll add a keyframe in. And you notice that a keyframe has been added in in the graph editor also with handles on the end. If you try to drag a handle, you can see only one will uh, drag at a time. This is kind of weird, so just pay attention a little bit on this. Um, if you hold Alt, you can drag them both at the same time. If you let go, now you can also drag them without holding Alt now. If you try to hold, if you hold Alt and try to drag now, it will break the uh, handles so you can move them on their own. So I'll just repeat that real quick. Dragging when you just created the point or just came into the graph will drag individually. You have to hold Alt and bring up the uh, Convert Vertex tool here. to be able to drag the uh, handles uh, simultaneously with each other in, res in relativity to each other. Now, once you have already dragged with Alt and you let go of it, if you hold Alt again, it will break the Bezier. You can click and drag without holding Alt to move them both back again. Now if you click and hold Alt on the middle, it will turn it back into a linear keyframe. That's the uh, shortcut there. So that is the end of part two, where I showed you how to uh, manipulate the uh, keyframe points in the graph editor. And I showed you how they affected the velocity. Um, I hope you guys uh, learned something from the tutorial, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, and um, I will uh, try to get back to you and let 
try to help you out in figuring out different uh, solutions because sometimes uh, when you're working with a graph editor it just doesn't want to do what you want it to do so be vigilant and don't give up on it just keep working through it and you'll figure it out eventually if, if all else fails you can convert your uh, point to a linear point and just start over again and try to get what you're looking for so play around with a graph editor see what different animations do and become a pro at it because becoming a pro at the graph at uh, graph editor makes you a much better After Effects artist. So I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one. It's uh, Cinco de Mayo today, so I'll be uh, ha out celebrating. I will use the Mexican influence there to uh, justify my uh, partying tonight. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.